die for. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. This is B from Kongs Are Us, along with my buddy Bobby to die for. What's up, man? Clean like a mother, yeah, to die for Kong Are Us. That's right. <laughs> yeah, man. What's going on, Bobby? Turn around at your other camera. We can see you better on your other one. Turn around. There it is. Look at that one for a second. So fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so bucking cool awesome video, hopefully you guys saw a lot of my other youtube content for today uh today we are following up on i think it was last week we started doing the live mod for the neo geo mbsx uh so bobby's back we're gonna be finishing that up all right and uh man bobby that yeah. the intro that that we have was something we just cobbled together but i i feel like you gotta get some of your 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 boys like jason or somebody else to uh to do a, com a collaboration yeah, wow. intro video yeah yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have yours and mine together. Yes, I'll yeah, Jason. Bobby knows I'm everybody in the modding community. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right, Bobby, it's a little. No, I'm saying it's a little hard to hear you. So I don't know if you're which mic you're using, if you're using your ear pipe piece or it might be your laptop. So try to speak up a little bit more wherever you're at. But hey, guys, what's going on in the chat? We got a lot of people joining. We got 22 folks from the different areas. Again, for folks that don't know, uh, you know, we are doing this both on our YouTube channels, but also live streaming on the Arcade Brigade Facebook page. So anybody that's already in the Arcade Brigade Facebook group, what's up? Uh, please join that group. The, the link to that group is in the description if you're interested in winning this prize um, at the end of all of this once it's all said and done. It's not going to be given away today, but this is just the modding journey. So Bobby, tell them a little bit more about the plans for finishing up the mod and how you're going to give it out. Okay. Today is going to be easy, simple, same as before trace from, uh, from the bottom panel and the marquee. But I have a good news and bad news. Let's start off with the bad news. I'm out of 20 inch widescreen monitor. <laughs> but good news, good news, guess what? I got 21 inch monitor. How's that sound? Yeah. yeah. There you 21, go. 10 bucks Facebook market. B, remember IARK about the power supply for the uh, monitor? Look, look. Yeah. Look. Oh, it works. There you go. Very ah, nice, you see that? guys. I can unplug yeah. this. I plug in the IARK. See that little power here? So, so it you works. gotta find older models. Yes, you gotta find older models. Mm -hmm. See this? For IARK, this little, this, these things that power the monitor right here. Same as IARK, a 4 by 3 ratio, 9, 19 inch. Same exact pin. Okay. So cool. you have to look for this is this is a Samsung guys. I already got it out. Ultra thin, very light, right? Twenty one inch. So you guys are lucky. I have clients that want the twenty inch monitor for their uh, other projects. So I had to use this one, twenty one inch. So guess what? I'm gonna show you how to expand. There it is. 
We're expanding, order, going big and going home. Yeah. So we got a couple Guys, of folks in, order in to chat. Expand in... Oh, go ahead. Okay, very important, guys. Listen to listen to this carefully. To expand, to fit, to make it like a fit, nice, snug, like a glove, we're gonna have to measure monitor. We're gonna have to measure the front of this monitor in order to measure the rest of the wood to expand. So I measure this monitor, it's 19 and a half and one. So I already pre-trace it. This is 19 and a half and one from straight across from this mm -hmm. from this end to mm -hmm. this end. It's 19. I think it's 19 and a quarter or 19 and a half and one. Mm -hmm. So you gotta have to measure. So what I did is where's my measuring tape at? Okay, I lost my measuring tape. Oh here it is. I'm gonna double check this, okay? I'm gonna measure this. It is exactly yes. 19 and a half one. I know y'all can see that. Yeah. It really depends so, on which monitor you're using. So you, yes. you definitely have to make sure you, you, you know, uh, these aren't always yes, custom. If, you, like, if, if you're planning to expand, it depends on the mm -hmm. monitor. Not all monitors the same size, 32 inch, older model or thicker, newer model yeah. or slimmer. It depends. Yep. So you have to measure regardless, measure regardless to expand. So I'm going to show you how to guys, how to expand today. Same, awesome. It will be the same exact thing doing as a big RK one up or anything or any project. If you're having a, uh, a different a different monitor, different size, expand, perfect, smaller, no need to expand, but if it was wider than original parts, then you have to expand. So it's 19 and a half, it's 19 and a half and one. So I already did measure this. So here is another thing. I already measured, this is the bottom piece. The, ba the bottom base, the bottom, where you sit and stand, there's all the PCB boards. Yep. Uh, RK one up style. RK one up style. Check it out. I got the geek worm right here. It is a geek worm. Works on my twenty inch monitor. Uh, yeah. Uh, a geek worm. Oh, a geek worm badass. So. I work with the Neo Geo MBSX. MBSX so. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, if you wanted to just expand your original yeah. cab, you can use that. So I, I mean that that geek worm. If you guys haven't seen my recent Big Buck Hunter mod, but I had such a hard time getting the geek worm to work with different monitors. I feel like PC monitors are better suited because they can accept more resolutions. So the larger you get with TVs, you definitely have to to be a little bit careful. All right, Bobby. So you already traced out the uh, the the panel there. So that's the yes. that's going to be the side panel. Yes. So this this yes this is the bottom panel. This is mm -hmm. 19 and a half and one, 19 and a half point one. The top is the marquee. I retraced it. It's the uh, top. So everything needs to be 19 and a half and one. So I traced it this right here. Bobby, people are jealous you're outside when there's like snow everywhere else in the country. So <laughs> you got a beautiful backyard. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep going. So this is the, this is the marquee right here. Mm -hmm. See this? I already traced it out 19. So everything has to be 19 and a half. This, that's me. 19 and a half point one. This, 19 and a half point one. Also, this 19 and a half point one. This is also a top marquee. Okay. Mm -hmm. 19 and a half point one. Everything 19 and a half point one. Nice. Okay. Because we are using a Samsung monitor. So, which is good. So you can have, you can have uh, about maybe two inch wider, a little bit more room for game for your control panel, which mm -hmm. is a good good idea, right? More room for control panel, more buttons, more stuff to lay around, more space, which is good. Okay. So, so we I got somebody else. Says, What's up, Batman and Robin? But again, who's Batman and Robin? No, uh, I think we already know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bobby, when you okay. when, when you so finish when you go finish ahead. everything up, are you gonna do a base too, or are you just doing the bar top? Uh, just the bar top because okay. base is gonna cost base and bar top is gonna cost you about two to about two hundred on your location to ship. Okay. Yeah, it's too big. So, yeah, uh, I don't sure. wanna go through all that, but you can yeah. you you can follow my tutorial how to make a base. I will, I will do that because it's it will be the same thing as um as a riser, but you just. Ex extending it just as measurements so it's it's the same tutorial for the base i'm not, I'm not gonna show the base tutorial it's gonna be the same exact thing so i'm yep. gonna cut this out so this is the that's the more part i'm gonna cut this out 
I'm gonna cut this out and I'll uh, I'll turn the camera around and show you how I cut it, right? So I guys right. come milk me. All right, Bobby's going to get to work and, uh, you know, we're going to do our thing. But we've got a couple other comments in here saying that it's hot here in Cali. Uh, we've had our rain the last week. So, I mean, uh, the rest of the country has their snow. They get to play out in the snow. And the arcade guy, what's going on, man? <laughs> How's the chandelier? Um, I haven't haven't been over to Bobby's in a while. So <laughs> we definitely need to, to get him to, to raise his chandelier in his arcade room. But he might have done some modding with that. We'll definitely get that going on, too. <laughs> Um, so for folks that are in the chat, let us know kind of what, what you think about this mod. I mean, obviously, this is a, an expansion of an existing bar top. Um, I actually have behind me my MBSX that I just got in the mail earlier this week. I haven't even opened it yet. So I figure while Bobby's going through his mod of, of making his own control panel and, you know, the Neo Geo design is, is so awesome, simple, nice face shield, Bobby. Um, I thought I would open up my MBSX just to give you my live thoughts of the, of the you know, the bar top itself. And so I wasn't planning on getting it. Oh, do you need me to unmute you? Hold on, Bobby. I'm going to unmute you for a no. second. All right. Are you just cutting? No, no, no. No, no, no. I yeah, just got it. <laughs> All right, Bobby's using his table saw right there. But yeah, so MVSX, there it is. If you guys haven't gotten one, they still can order it from, from the actual MVSX website. I was checking originally Amazon, and since they were there, I was I was hoping eventually they might go you know, a little bit on sale. Uh, so I was kind of holding out. But as soon as the Hilo Stick X mods came out, I was like, all right, I have to get it. So um, it's just one of those things where it's so iconic. I don't have a Neo Geo cab set up in my arcade room yet. And so I thought it's uh, really great to, to be able to get it. So I will open this up right now while we're waiting, while we can see. It's going to be a while before we can see something that resembles an MBSX from Bobby as he cuts through the wood, gets everything going. Uh, and again, the, the whole purpose of this video is just to showcase that if you, if you have some of the right tools and you have a template, you can really make anything. So this is like live bar top making uh, using the MBSX as a model. But let's open up the MBSX. Let me know in chat in case there's anything else you guys want to see or chat about. I'm curious to know if folks saw my uh, my Big Buck Hunter uh, review. <laughs> Not review, big screen mod. I did that earlier this morning. So I've been doing, doing a lot of content recently. Hope you guys are enjoying. Um, but let's open this up and check it out. Um, for folks that were curious, I did my official next level uh, stream earlier this week because I really wanted to highlight the Big Buck Hunter mod. Um, so today is just kind of our, our chill live stream, live modding video that Bobby and I will do occasionally. So just depends on our schedules when we can get this going. So this isn't an official next level show, but let's open up the MBSX while, while Bobby is getting his going on so you can see his table saw. All right. All right, this thing is a beast. It's one of those few cabs that comes completely together. I also got a Dragon Slayer II Arcade as well. And, uh, you know, that still came disassembled, but it was super great quality. Um, so I'm really curious to see how this looks when it's coming out of the box all put together. I don't mind putting things together. I actually really enjoy the process of putting together, like, furniture or, or pieces like this. Just because it... Um, also lets me see how things are made and the guts of things too. So we'll be able to see what it looks like whole. Oh man, I probably should have taken more time because this comes in a box within a box. So this is gonna be hard to, to uh, take out. <laughs> All right, so this is really, really big. Bobby's still cutting. There he is going through. Ah, oh, this thing is huge, it's a beast. I had a little bit of damage on the top back area, but it doesn't look like it got through to the cab itself. I'm going to take this off the stools, turn it upside down. And the SX. Oh. This is where I need to do the Bobby Vu workout because I haven't done any working out since this COVID period hit. I had a couple people because I, I posted a, a different version of my Big Buck Hunter mod. And some people were like, oh, you should wear the same outfit as Mrs. Kong's. And uh, I don't know if you'd want to see the full exposed belly of Mr. Kong. <laughs> I'm going to save you guys from that. But Bobby is very happy to show off his toes. If you guys want to see that. All right. So the big box is out. Let's put this down. So I can lift it up and lift it out of the box. Whew unscripted live so it looks like bobby is doing some sanding getting it sanded down hopefully we can see what that looks like later on i wonder i mean the box is really made for retail so 
I wonder if these will ever hit store shelves. Because one of the things that like, even the arcade one ups that gets shipped to me now, um, I, I like boxes <laughs> for all the toys and things that I have in my room. I do tend to keep a lot of the boxes for things just in case for, for any particular reason. Um, so I have like four or five RK one up boxes in my garage. And I, I like I still don't want to throw them away. I, I need to because I need to get space. So if you guys have like ideas on what you guys do with your boxes, like let me know because I'm really looking for ideas on, you know, saving space, but kind of keeping them. I saw some people throwing them on top of a big bonfire. <laughs> I don't think I can do that in the LA area. Um, so yeah, but this this MBSX box looks really good too. So I probably will just hold on to it for a certain amount of time and then afterwards we'll let it go. So I think that's what I do with a lot of my big electronics. Is I hold on to the box for something new for, you know, just in case I need to return it or do anything. And then eventually I, I let it go. So. <laughs> Scott J says, this might be the first live modding unboxing combo ever, B Kong. This is true. So we want to give you a little bit of something, a little bit of live modding, a little bit of uh, commentary, a little bit of seeing out what's going on in the community. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I was like, all right, what else can I do to bring something to this? Because a lot of times during these streams, Bobby does all the work and I'm just kind of sitting around. Like last week, I was actually even really jealous that he got to do all the modding. I did like a stream right afterwards because I wanted to tinker. So this would give me my tinkering fix, but I've been doing a lot of arcade stuff this week anyways. But here it is. Man, this thing is it's really nice. It's big. Okay. I always forget like once it comes like fully assembled, like it's bigger than I expect coming into these boxes. But I mean, it was just a foam package on the top and a foam package on the bottom. So surprised that like it survived with like no damage at all. So that's pretty cool. There's like no other padding. A lot of empty space inside of this box. I want to just lift up this whole thing. All right. Lift it up by the bag. There she is. Move the chair out of the way. All right. Put this box away. Bobby looks like he's just standing. So, I mean, if you're ever doing live modding, that's actually one of the things I don't have when I, I do my own cuts at home with like a table. Like I have a table saw. I have, um, you know, just a hand saw that I use as well, a jigsaw. Um, but the sanding is really key for why why Bobby's cuts and his customs are really good. Um, so I really got to get that sander. Plus, he has a really nice outdoor area to work on. And I don't have that space. So for folks that have that space, super jealous. But here is the MBSX. Let's get it closer. It's all bagged up. Oh, I think. Unbag it from the bottom. I should just grab my... Exacto. All right. Russell May is saying that I need a haircut. <laughs> I need a haircut or Bobby needs a haircut? I think Bobby needs a haircut for sure. <laughs> there we go. Kato is saying he tosses his boxes and the wife didn't like him keeping them. Oh, it's true. We all kind of struggle for space and issues and things, especially if our significant others are also kind of trying to claim space. So, I mean, boxes are definitely not not as a priority for, for things that you have around the house. All right, here it is. Behind the times, I didn't know about the MBSX. Harry, you didn't know about MBSX, man? You have app games, you got Star Wars. Look at this beauty, it comes stock. Like, all done with the light-up marquee. I mean, I know there's a million reviews out there for this thing, but wow, like the just pulling out of the box and seeing it like just in person, it's one of those things like where if you have a three quarter scale collection, it's like you can't not have a Neo Geo cab, especially if you're collecting several of them. So um, yeah, I'm I'm really impressed just automatically with just the the build quality straight out of the box. I don't think any product on the market so far has something that comes straight out of the box already prepped like this in terms of like a bar top and things. I mean, you have the IR arcade, which you still have to build. You have your arcade one ups, which are like Ikea furniture, right? So straight out the box um, and like the packaging, it was just a plastic bag and two pieces of foam. And like, there's not a single scratch or dent on the entire thing. And so, and I think this was shipped. I mean, I'm in the Los Angeles area. So I, I did see it came from across the country and it wasn't local to me. Um, so I guess first off, I wonder if anybody else had issues with their shipping, but I'm I'm really happy and surprised that like there's zero damage or scratches with the way they designed the packaging of it. I would have thought like it would have, you know, 
got roughed up a little bit, but this is good so far. Wow, really impressed. And it has like the, the whole covers for all the screw panels too. That's really nice. And I can't wait to plug this in and see it lit up. So this is it. I probably won't get the base going, um, but all right. So Bobby, where are you at? Are you done? Should I unmute you? All right, I'm, I'm muting you, Bobby. Yes, all right. Yes. There it is. You're back. How, what do okay, you think guys, of mine? Yes, here it is. It looks, it, it looks like yours. <laughs> All right, guys, Go check ahead. it out. Okay, you see the you see the expansion. Look, it's the same size. This is they literally glued it down, so I cannot take this out. So I measure it from the old way like this. So this is the this is the top marquee. This is the top. Mm -hmm. You see this? See that? Let me turn around. You see the extension. The extension is about an inch and a half wider you see the difference you see that the, yep. this black piece is the original this is the ex extended version you see the difference guys let me lower this down to make it perfect line it up look at that on the dot on the dot now well, here's the bottom base of the mvsx on um on the bmx mvsx same thing same See that? There's a little gap. That's your extension right there for the 20 inch monitor. I mean, 21 inch. In order to fit, that's 21 inch monitor size right there. So expand it wider. It's about, a, it's about an inch. Now, guys, here's, here's a very important thing. You see this little angle right here? I don't know how to show this. You see this little angle? Yeah, it's not a straight cut. Mm -hmm. It's not a straight cut. It's, uh, I don't know how much. Okay, see this, here it is. Yeah, we you guys can see, see it. that? Mm -hmm. Okay, look, it's not straight. It is angle. See it? Where'd you go, Bobby? You're black. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, so you trace the top and the front and the back then, right? So that you can cut your things, right? Measure this, okay? Yep. I'm, I'm going to show you how to make this angle perfectly. Okay? Is what I'm gonna do. No. I'm about to flip it. I'm about to flip it upside down. Uh, you have to flip it upside down, right? So you know this is gonna be the top. So you gotta go to the top, right? Then you have to line it up correctly and then make a mark a line. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna, let me see this. Thing. Yeah, that's where you get better. Okay, you have to draw a line all the way across to make that perfect angle, that little angle to make it fit perfectly. Now, where is my pencil? At? Mm. I love this comment that says, pretty sure you can give Bobby Boo a full-size cabinet and he'd still widen it. So <laughs> you're obsessed with widening cabs, Bobby. <laughs> okay. All right, check it out. Can you, B, can you see it? Yep, I can see it. Okay, you see that little gap? There's a little gap right here. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. The little gap is where you're going to sand it i'm gonna draw a line right there all the way across all the way across right there and go over here too because it's expand i have to expand over here on this side okay hey you got your boy uog arcade custom in the house what's up uog oh my boy UOD, that's right. Big collab coming up, guys. I have a few testers from. Uh, I'm getting, I'm not gonna give who names. They're gonna test it first to confirm everything's working. I'll give it all to you guys. UOD, that's my right. boy. UOD. <laughs> and Bobby Broadway says that. I remember, remember the the P Dub show. It says that. Uh, it says that you you have your flan boy with your flannel pants. <laughs> flannel is the new thing. <laughs> I love those guys. That was awesome. All right. Uh, some other chats in here. Uh, hey, Techno Billy, you're kind of right. The six button doesn't feel quite right on a Neo Geo. I, I would tend to agree. If it were, they were going for I something. Tell you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, yeah. guys. Yeah. They, it's meant to be. The six buttons and a the USB, they already know. They knew it was going to be modded. They already yeah. knew it. That's why that six button is for all the fighting games, which is a yeah. good deal. We need that six button if you want to mod it. You want to put the yeah. hack, Hilo hack in there. So, which is perfect. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, it was. I mean, they had modders in mind, obviously. It took a little while for people to get it, but the Hilo Stick Tech, like Hilo Stick Team, man, like those guys rocked it with getting the hack out there and adding the games. So if you guys haven't seen how to do that yet, uh, there's a lot of folks that have posted kind of videos on how to get that going. That's the main reason why I got mine. The second or the minute the the Hilo Stick X mod came out, that's when I ordered mine. And so I haven't even done it yet. Obviously, I just opened it. So I, I'm looking forward to diving into that and seeing what else can be done. But soft mods, uh, you know, I think most people have seen it. Like soft mods are, are great, right? Because you don't have to mess with any of the hardware. You don't have to do any crazy modding. You can just kind of like sideload it. And I, I love that. So uh, for all the talented people that can code and sideload things, uh, fantastic. So I know I'm more of like a, like Bobby and I uh, kind of straddle that line between like hardware mods and software things, like when we're using Pies and PCs and all sorts of things. Um, but the side modders, man, that's a lot of work that they've done for the community. So, I mean, big props up to the Hylostick team um, that's been doing that. I know there's a lot of work that goes into that. All right. All right, guys, check it out. Okay. All right. You see the line I made there? Yep. Let's see. I'm going to... You see that little line? You see this little line? Oh, look at that. What yeah, this, oh, the, the camera. laptop camera is a little hard to see the line. So just explain what it is. Okay, see this line here? Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw a angle from that line to the corner right here. Mm -hmm. You'll see it right now. Watch. Oh, that's how you're going to make the angle line. cut. Yeah. That's I how you see. make the angle cut. So not many people know about this because I don't have the angle machine cut. That take a lot. That takes uh, too much work and no machine. So I have to do this way, which is okay, which is fine. I mean, you have a table saw, Bobby. You, you, like, you can just angle your table saw. There's a way, like, for you to get under yeah, it. Yeah, but angle. the table saw, the table saw can only cut like this much. It can't go all oh, the way. Okay. Get it? It's okay. not long enough. Okay. So I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw a line right here. Mm -hmm. Angle it down. I'm gonna do it real quick. This is this way you sand it. This one. To get that perfect exact angle. Bobby, don't worry. Or Bobby Broadway, don't worry. Like it, 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 we know what you meant. We know what you meant. <laughs> um, so, some other folks are asking. Yeah, UOG was just mentioning he's here. There it is. Okay. You we'll see that? See you see line. it? Yep. You see that? See your line. Are you gonna so you're gonna sand it or you're gonna cut it? Yes. No, we're gonna sand it. Watch this. I'm gonna sand it. Where the angle is at, all the way down to get that nice angle uh, fix to fit perfectly. I'm gonna I'm gonna sand it right now so y'all can see. Uh, B, you want me to sand this way? You want me to sand so everybody can see, or you want me to sand it over there? Uh, the other camera is better if you can so go. Want me to sand it over here? Yeah. How about this? That one's better. There it is. Bring yeah, it? this bring camera is way better. Yeah, looks good. Bring it, bring it closer so you can see. All right, guys. Okay, before you mute me, my call. I want everybody know. Here's my line. Yeah, we can here's see the line. line now. Yep. And here's here's the angle. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sand it into the angle where the line is. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute him now. So. <laughs> There he is getting down. So I'm um, Bobby the human CNC, right? So I mean, I know there probably would be like machine ways to do this, but uh, you know, for simple things so, like Bobby with a, a jigsaw, a sander, a simple table saw can do a lot of stuff. So and look at that. He, look, he's not even wearing a face mask for protection. That's that's how, how crazy Bobby is with the modding. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, There's some other folks here that are joining. I saw your big book mod, a great review. I tried, I tried seven different TVs in my house. Like the day that Cool Toy released his video, I got my Geek Worm immediately and tried plugging it into several different monitors in my TV. And like none of them work. Zero of my big screen monitors work. I got a couple of the Dell 20 inch that I have, like like behind me, the Macross one working. I had like this small 22 inch monitor to my left that I got working, but I wanted it on a big screen TV and I didn't I didn't know quite how to get it. So it wasn't until I talked to a lot of people, Billy Sweet Technically Billy was one of the people I was messaging. And you know, once he told me that it was a Samsung type of monitor that got it working, um, that's what really kind of pushed me to start looking on Facebook Marketplace. And I found that monitor on Monday of this week from a guy that posted that for sale for like 50 bucks and I offered $30 and he said, yes. So, you know, as long as you can find deals, like I did the Bobby view approach, it doesn't hurt to ask. And so I just typed in Samsung 27 inch monitor 
you know, and that's it. 27, 32, look what I can find. And, and, you know, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on something I didn't know if it would work. And that's the hard thing, right? You kind of take a gamble if things don't work in your house. Um, so that's, that's one of the things, if you want to do the, the mod, you have to make sure that you have a compatible TV or monitor for sure. Very cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> uh, we'll ask Bobby that question. Um, <clears throat> once you, once you, once he gets off mute about what grid sander you're using. So as soon as he's done sanding, I'll ask him that question. <clears throat> Very cool, cool, cool. All right. I want to plug in my MBSX. Bobby gets to do all the playing during these live streams, but we have about, you know, 30 minutes left to try to get there. I hope he has enough time to sand and put it together so we can see something that resembles a bar top by the end of this. I mean, a lot of times we do these and you kind of see the process, but we never get to see the end results. And I know it's more about the journey than it is the destination for these things. And I'm glad to hang out with you guys. Uh, but Bobby, if you can hear me, I'm hoping you can put something together that looks like a bar top by the end of this. Yeah. All right. You gave me a thumbs up. So I think that's good. I'm, I'm muting you. Uh, Bobby, we got 30 minutes. Yeah. Unmute um, 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 me. No, no, we're not going to make it 30 minutes. Okay. I'm um, muting. Um, <laughs> All right, I'm muting him again. All right, we, he said we're not going to make it in 30 minutes, but that's okay. We might do another one of these. Uh, we still have to finish the initial D mod. I mean, there's that's the thing. You find so many projects that you want to get going. Like for me, I have so much content and things that I want to film and record and release. But you know, finding time in the day to do all that is 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 hard. Um, so yeah, let's see. I got my MBSX here. Other first thoughts of looking at it, like I've heard about this little mini corn door thing that people are talking about. And yeah, I, I'm actually a fan. <laughs> I, I like the molding that they did for it. And like, I know it's a, uh, it's a little cheesy, especially once you put the bar top on it, but you know, they took time to design something that will look uh, a little bit cheesy, like a corn door for the bar top only version. Um, but I, I kind of like it. I mean, maybe I'll change my mind once I put it on the bar top and I see the bottom version of it so that it won't be covered. I guess it would have been nice if it was like removable or something like that, but they put some good detail in this. Like this is painted. They actually use clear yellow plastic in here. Like you can't press the button down, but they actually spent time um, putting some details onto this coinder. So I appreciate the fact that they did that and it wasn't just a sticker. Even though it probably looked weird, um, I do really, really uh, like this. Very cool, very cool. Um, <laughs> Somebody is saying, hurry faster. We should just pre-record this and do a time lapse of it live and talk through it. Maybe that's something that we do later on, Bobby. We should should get you just recording what you're doing. We can kind of talk through it as we go through it live. Oh, I'm muting. Right, can you hear go me? Ahead. Yep, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, guys, check this out. You see the angle? You see how I did it? You see how the angle? Yeah. You guys see that? Come here, you see that? Yep. You see that? Very important, gotta make exact angle, okay? So this is this is done. Next up, another one. Now the bottom base. We're gonna have to extend it 19 and a half. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the old one as a measurement. See this? I like to use the side, which is nice and straight. So I pick the straightest side. This side right here. So I'm gonna go right straight to the edge. And then- I'm so unfamiliar with the, the MBSX parts. Like I have no idea what part you're modding right now. Is it the side? Is it the bottom? No, no this is the top. It's the top marquee. There's also oh, the this top part marquee. right here. It's Oh, I see. It's the top part right here. The top. Okay, cool. You see this? Got it. You see it goes yep. to the top? It goes, no, this yep. is actually from behind. This is the back. The yeah. back of the marquee. The back top, mm -hmm. it's like uh, the- H panel, the top. This is yeah. the top, right? Yep. The top. Right here, this is the top. This this is where this is where they support the um uh when we got bar top. This is a supporter. He has a dowel and a screw, but it's mm -hmm. weak. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna trace the back. All right. Bobby, while you're doing that, what grit sandpaper do you use when you sand? Um right right here. I use I use the toughest one. Okay. Uh, hold on. I lost. I lost it. Damn. I lost the paper. But anyways, here is the um, my other standard for smoothness. Twenty twenty grain. Twenty twenty grain. Okay. That's cool. That's for to smoothen it out to make it nice, like butter, like you know, yep. slick, like glossy. This is the one. Okay. Now right. you need the you need this one. 
the toughest sandpaper, the, the, the strongest one, the roughness. Yeah. So I had to sand it out really quick. This is the rough one. Yeah. They have it everywhere, Home Depot, Lowe's, pretty cheap. Nice. I bought a bundle pack because, you know, I don't, to, I, don't want, I don't want to go up and down. What about the workbench that you're using? Is that a, is that a DeWalt workbench? I think that's oh, a DeWalt. Oh, yes, yes. This is the DeWalt, All right? Yeah. Okay, that's all. Let me, uh, I'm going to trace this. Okay, you know what? You know what? You got to know the drill. Okay, let me go to the next step. I, I can do this later. The most important thing. Now, check it out, guys. I'm going to use, JJ, I'm JJ gonna the use one of style. What's up, John D? John D Stone. Yeah. So, check it out. You see this? I'm going to mark it. I'm going to duplicate exactly the hole. You see this right here? So, I'm going to duplicate this hole right here. This is where you stand. Now, you got to be careful which way you're doing which what, which way. Let's see, this is the curve, okay, right here. This is this is the back. This is the back, and this is the front, All right? So I go lay down this way. Make sure it's the right direction. I'm going the right direction, not upside down. Okay, you see now, guys? You see the hole here? It looks, it looks just like, it looks just like a, uh, So we have two screw and one dowel. You see this? I'm gonna duplicate it. Same thing. I'm gonna take a clamp. While Bobby's doing that, I'm getting ready to plug in my MBSX for the first time. Hell yeah, see. hell yeah. MBSX is badass. Should have okay. I should have uh tried to download everything so I can do the side load while we're on stream. That would have been cool. You see me fumbling right. around, do my my research. So Skill saw. Try to, try to line it up as straight as possible. Okay. Yeah. Line it up like 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 on the dot. I mean like on the dot. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. AZ Lambo Dreaming, what are you, uh, so you're asking like, what buttons do you use on an iPad 2 or iPad 4? I will like, what do you mean? Like you can use any type of button micro, like, with those buttons. So let me kind of clarify if you can, but yeah, you can pretty much use any style of sandwall hat buttons with the iPad. You just gotta ground it first and then plug it into the input. So it should be easy to work with. So guys, I'm on the market, you hear me? Let's right here, yep. let's mark it, right? Mark it. Right, and right here, this is this is where the dowel you mark it. Okay. So what I do, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill one that it's already did. I'm gonna use this original as measurement. You see, I see this? This dowel here looks like it got stuck. Oh, uh, never mind, it's coming out. When I use this, we can use this as a measurement. See that? I already pre measure it. This is with that hole. You put it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this. Right? I'm going to screw this. I'm going to. Now, where is my uh, drill? You got to get the picture, right? So I'm going to make this live video as short as possible. Can you, can you see this? Yeah, let me put it down here. All right. So I'm going to eyeball it. Very important, guys. You screw all the way, at least half an inch deep. Reason? Once you put the user wood screw, you know, you put it like this much, your wood's gonna split. So the deeper, the better. Get it? Okay. The deeper, the better. All right. Let's do this. All right. Bobby, you're asking me if I can, uh, well, I'm going to meet Bobby if you're allowed. All right. <laughs> All right. 
Very cool. I'm going to, Scott was asking if I could get the Hilo stick up. I, I have about 20 minutes. Maybe I can try doing it right now. We can see how long it takes. Like, Bobby, you can tell me. I think I just have to download it and put it on a stick. That's it, right? All right. Bobby, all right, there it is. Go ahead. You're going to say you need something? Version one. You, need, you, need, you need version one first in order to uh, add that add-on pack. Oh, okay. I think I have the first get one. The, yeah, get the, grab the first one. All right, I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see if we can do it live. I think I have enough space. How big is this? How big is the hack file? Okay, if I can see downloads, Hello Thor is only two gigs. All right, guys, check it out. Now, uh, now, now, check it out. I'm gonna slide it up. See this? A gap, I'm gonna slide it up. Very easy, duplicate expansion tutorial. Not that hard. It's a, bit, a little bit of work. You guys, you guys know the drill, right? Show them how to drill, Bobby. You love drilling, don't you? Uh, <laughs> hell yeah! Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So I got the Hilo Stick X. All right. I, I should turn it on and check it out, stock. So while Bobby's doing it here, I'm gonna turn it on for the first time. Let's just check it yeah. out. Bobby, have you, did you play this thing stock at all? Ooh, man, this thing looks good. It's lit up. I got my little 8GB thing right now. I'm gonna plug it yeah, in. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it going. All right, so hold on. That's the wrong one. All right, two, three. Let's see how long it takes to transfer to my USB key. If I can get it going, guys, maybe we can see if I can just sideload it while we're on the stream. That would be awesome, right? Hell yeah. yeah. Do it. Yeah, yeah. How many minutes left, Kong? Uh, twenty minutes left. Twenty minutes left. What the hell? Twenty minutes. Go. Gotta roll. Gotta roll. Gotta roll. Okay. See, not a, not be a problem. Okay. So you guys know the drill. I'm gonna drill a hole. It's off a little bit right here. Move it up. I like it to be exact dead center, on point. Sticking out. All right. Oh, it's the volume switch. Very cool. I like it. I mean, it's super clean interface. So, is this is yeah. this seventeen well, inches? Bond? Yeah, that's seventeen inches. That's gotta go. That's why I'm putting it in twenty inches. <laughs> yeah, I see. Size I does see. matter, guys. Size does matter. So are you planning on keeping, are you expanding your personal one at all too? Yes, yes, yes I am expanding it. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, so yeah. while, while Bobby is doing that, I'm going to share my screen and just look at the Hilo Stick X mod. Let me see if I can get it going really fast. All right, USB disk drive. Well, turn on no, no, turn turn it on first. Turn on the um MBSX, then then you put in a hello uh, USB mode, USB in. You get it, B? What's that? You turn it on and then plug it in. Yeah, you turn it on then plug in your USB. Let it load up first. All right, I'm reading. I'm going through the README text right now as we go through this. I've I've done zero eff like effort at looking at this, so hopefully we I can, can show you. This. No, 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 no. It's okay. I can show you right now. Yeah. Don't need to read so it. Plug in USB. Move the MBSX update image to the root of your drive. Once complete, you can plug in the drive into your MBSX USB port. If your unit is powered on, you can move on to the next step. If not, power on your unit. Upgrading your MBSX from your main menu. Go to the settings here. Press A. Go to the system and push the right to move over to system update. Press A to select system update. And you should see the Hilo update. Confirm the update. Allow the system to do the magic and restart. You will have a new option to select Hilo Stick X. And if it restarts, if you cannot move your joystick, just turn off the system, turn it back on. You should be fine. 
after you apply the update, you no longer require the update image on your UFD drive. Dang, that sounds super simple. It's very easy. It's very easy. I'll show you. You copy the two files over into the uh, into your USB drive. Yeah. All you need is two right. files. One, one's a it's... folder, one says update. You get it? All right. Yeah. Copy those, just copy and paste those, those two files. All right. It's going to be done updating in three minutes. So you guys will see me using, doing the Hilo Stick X mod on, on my thing already. Simple, simple, right? Man, I didn't know it was that easy. It really is that easy. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to do more research, but um, I know there's already been tons of videos and things on it, but I've been so caught up on like Big Buck and like doing my Star Wars images and other things like that. I was waiting until I actually got it in-house before I did all my research about kind of working on the MBSX, but that's that's awesome. I mean, that you can't even get easier than that. Even the Arcade 1UP Outrun update, like you just copy it onto a USB drive, plug it in. It's pretty much that simple. So, I mean, that's exciting. Um, so I am copying the file over to the USB drive right now. It should be done. It says it'll be done in three minutes. So it's we have 13 minutes left on the stream. I think we can do it. How long does it take to update once you put it in the... In, oh, uh, really, on... really fast. Only a couple minutes. Only a couple minutes? Yeah, it's really fast. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, look, J Scott J, you win. This is MBS exciting. <laughs> I love oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you I know like me. That. You know me. I, I really love all the punny stuff. Uh, so RJ is asking, I'm not familiar with the mods you're doing right now. What does it add? It adds more games. So yeah, so the original MBSX only has 50 of the Neo Geo games, but there's over like 150 actual Neo Geo games. Yeah, over like, 300 it, now. It's over 300 games. Yeah, but then you can also add CPS1 and like some of the Capcom games that aren't Neo Geo. I think I'm going to be more of like the Neo Geo purist and only keep the Neo Geo updates on here, but you can now sideload additional games beyond just the Neo Geo stuff on the cab, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's what the Hilo Stick mod does. So, I mean, and it was super easy. I mean, again, I just downloaded the file and then I'm putting it on a USB right now and we will be done hopefully soon. That's it. All right. And it contains it. So update image and the uninstaller. Oh, so I don't need the uninstaller one. Okay, got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Just the update. Just the, the update in the folders. That's it. Update Only two. Two files. Just yeah. Got it. All right. There's two files. There's two files. Exciting. We got a Halo stick. All right. So what's the game? We got all the King of Fighter games on here. Got the Metal Slug. Yeah, I was most disappointed on the stock one that they didn't have Puzzle Bobble. <laughs> of all the Neo Geo games that they like left off, like just playing Puzzle Bobble or Bust a Move, if it was. Um, you know, those are just I remember playing Puzzle Bobble a ton back in the day. So I was I was sad that I was missing was okay, one of the all reasons. Right, all right, all right. Colin, you ready? Let me let me do, uh, do a little talking. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Go. Okay. All right, guys, check it out. Okay. You see the original? You see the original? It has two dials but no screw, so it's not secure. So what I did is I did one up style. I can put two dials and one screw. Extra secure. This has. Dows only. So it's only dows. There's no screw. Mine has that one up style. Mine has about two dows and a screw. Extra secure. It doesn't move around. Perfect alignment. Okay. So I'm going to do a thing on the other side. Now I'm going to trace out the uh, this one right here. So it's 19 and a half. I'm gonna pick the nice straight side. This side looks like it's straight right here. Bobby always showing his tips of the tricks of the trade. You make it look so easy. I mean, those people here that are watching that are like, oh, I think I could do this. I still don't think I could do this, even if I had the tools, Bobby. You have some good patience, but you have really? the skills. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have a lot of patience for this. Lots of patience. <sighs> Five okay, seconds. So it's nice and straight. One. All right, my USB is ready. All right, keep going, Bobby. Uh, don't forget to update the pack number two too. Yeah. All right. I got it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna eject my USB drive. Eject disk. Man, that was too easy. Okay. Keep going. All right. It's three twenty. We got ten minutes left, guys. All right. So we'll see. If we can do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over because I think this is good content. Really, with this. So while Bobby's still working on that, look. 
high little stick on it was about two and a half gigs maybe less than that so you said turn it on we're gonna plug it in turn it on first plug it on turn it on first then it on. Load up and plug it in. jj the king says side load that bitch. that's what we're gonna do right now <laughs> all right so it's already uh, on oh uh, my boy jj the king is on why do you let me know man so i said what's up man oh i've been trying to say it john jj the king's in the house all right so we plugged it in you see the little usb icon is in the there king. There it is. All right. And then it says, I got to go. Uh, you see the USB? Go to the bottom. Go down. Go down. See here? Where it says, uh, on the bottom. See it was red. The power on the bottom. Highlight. Go down there. Okay. You see the USB? Go up. Go say setting. Go up. Scroll up. Yep. Setting. There you go. Setting. Yep. System. Press, press the red button. Red button. Okay. okay. Yeah. Go to system. Go to, go to system. system. Scroll system to your update. right. Update. Yep. 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 Update. Yep. Upgrade file, okay. okay. yes, 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 yes. Let it load. That's, That's it. it. Just wait. That's it. Just that wait, was bro. it. Enjoy. That's it. Enjoy. That was it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. No, it wasn't that easy. <laughs> the easiest mod ever. Oh my god, upgrading is underway. Please wait. In order to avoid mistakes, please do not power off. That was it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna use this as a template. Yeah. 19 and a half point one. Remember that? Yeah. So I'm gonna use it right here. I use the ruler, right? Look at this. I got I got a little gap. I got a little gap to you know room. This is my spare wood, okay? On the ground. All it's weather. Easy. It's been okay, rain, good. rain cold. It's been on this is my I'm gonna draw a line right here. This is a perfect one. Yeah, you're a little, you're a little fuzzy. All right, there it is. All right, so that one. Oh uh, no, no, I, no, I, I have, I have a phone call. That's why. Oh okay, there it is. Message me. Message <laughs> me. You said, man, that, that seems crazy. too tough. You know what I'm saying? Oh look, okay, all right, so. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this as a ruler. I'm gonna use this as a ruler. Oh no, never mind. It's straight. <laughs> I'm excited for Bobby's mod modding, but look, it's already done. All I gotta do is just select Hilo Stick X now, right? Oh, it's not moving. Yeah, no, wait, you gotta turn it off first. No. Turn it off, no. turn it back on. Listen. Yeah, turn off, turn on, and then your controller will work. Turn off, right. turn on. All right, all right, all right. Wait for like about five seconds. Wait for wait for five seconds. All right, there's a little so the on off button's on the back. There's so just a little press button press. Let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. I think I can remove the USB now too, right? Do I have to oh, leave no, it no, in? No, no. Leave it there. Leave yeah. it there. Okay. I, well, I don't know yet. I, I never move it out, so I have no idea. No, you have to I leave it in because all the all the stuff is in there. You have to leave it. I think the instructions say you can it's, just remove it's, it's, it. Out, so. Pro tip: After applying the update, you no longer require the update image file on your USB drive. Hmm. Okay, select that. There it is. There it is. It's working. All right, here we go. Hilo Stick X. Add, add, add on the pack. Add on the pack. Add on the pack. Get on the pack. Uh, I have to download them first. So. <laughs> the Capcom. Get... Capcom pack. It's badass. Yeah. Capcom. Oh, I want it to be Neo Geo, though. You can play Capcom and everything else. Ooh, even the interface changed, too. Look at that. Looks a little bit like. Is that it? 148 games. Man. Holy crap. There's more. There's an add-on pack, man. The Capcom. The Capcom. I know, but that was so easy. Holy crap. Blue Journeys, Tomatoes, Double Dragons. Oh, Double Dragons. And Neo Where's my Puzzle Bobble? Gotta get to Puzzle Bobble. Yeah, it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. It's the only bad thing about scrolling through 148 games now is that like it's so long to like scroll through everything. But this is so cool. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is the main reason why I got this. That was too easy. I can't believe it was that. Oh, there's Panic Bomber Man on here too. Puzzle Bobble. There it is. Yes. Success. Success. Clean, <laughs> mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Die for MBS X. Leo Geo. Come on. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Dude. All right. My boy UOG. Yeah, UOG. Look at that. Pew, 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 pew. Let player start. All right. No, you put select. No, select for coin. Select, select for coin? Yeah. Okay. And then this is start? Oh, okay. 
I know you can play this on like a million different games. Like you can play this on a Pi. You can. I, I have this on like my PlayStation. I can just play this on anything. I was playing this. Remember when you made me that PlayStation Classic? Like that. This was like one of the first games that I went to play on, just because like I didn't have it on something that was on my big screen TV. I can play with somebody. This is fun. I, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. Uh, Go ahead. For next. Okay, okay. This this is a simple one. Next week, I will show you mounting the monitor in, mounting everything in. Okay. So basically, we copy all the, we expand everything. We expand the top. Yeah. We expand the uh, the marquee. We expand the bottom base. Okay. We expand all the components. Now for for next week, hopefully Monday, this weather is okay. Uh, I will show tutorial how to mount your monitors and put everything together. How's that sound, huh? Hopefully that works. I might we'll make a video, make, so that way we can talk about it, you know, while doing yeah, the video play, so we'll some quicker. Ahead of time. Yeah, let's do it and talk yeah. about it so we can see something at the end of it. But I mean, yeah. we got about four yeah, minutes left. Go. Okay. I want to talk about So this is the back piece, the top back of the marquee. This is where the H panel is. So everything right here is identical to RK one up. You see the down and screws? It's exactly yep. the same, no difference. Bobby, even go to your other camera. Go to your phone camera. That one's better. Even um, even the um, the PCB board. Check it out. Look at this. Okay. RK one up style PCB board right here. RK one up style. Look. I don't know y'all yep. watch my um my reveal. They did have a collaboration, but something went wrong. So so Neo Geo went alone with it. I think things didn't work out or something. Am I correct? Remember the photo when leaked out RK1 with Neo Geo? Mm -hmm. I think that was a problem back in the days. It got leaked out. Somehow Neo Geo leaked it out. So there's a yeah. problem with the RK1 up with collaboration with Neo Geo. It got canceled. Mm -hmm. So Neo Geo went to Neo Geo. With the same PC board, same monitor style as RK1. Everything's exactly the same. Even the screw, even the screw that nut bolts, the nuts. We screw in exactly the same, same size screw, no difference at all. Everything That's Bobby's the conspiracy theory that this should have been an arcade one up, but uh, they did their own thing. So <laughs> this is true. It could be arcade one up and yeah. a different. Uh, so uh, yeah, they definitely. All right, guys, I guess, guess that's it. I hope you all learned it, something. Man. All my tips and tricks. Remember that little angle. Just draw a straight line and angle it down to the night corner and just stand it down to the angle for the perfect angle. That is very important. <laughs> Part for to, to get the angle correctly, everything to fit in correctly. Okay, guys. Yeah. Hope you all enjoy this. Come take it out. You want me to get out? You got something yeah. to take out? What's that? No, I was just saying, like for folks that were watching this and seeing it, like if you want your own MBSX, again, this was a five hundred bucks. You can still get it, like the combo pack from from MBSX's website. And the side loading was stupid easy, Bobby. Get it. Holy get crap. It. Easy. I, I, I tell you what. I tell you something. Super Nintendo. Sega Genesis, Naomi, Possibility, Adam Packs, it got so much potential because it runs, you think about it, it runs Street Fighter 3. Third and Marvel vs. Capcom 2, right? And Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So meaning, Killer Instinct Possibility, right? Who yeah, knows? N64 I mean, we, might jump in the game. Yeah, Arcade One Up was talking about like having PCB issues and that's one of the reasons why they couldn't get Marvel vs. Capcom 2. But I mean, like they said, it's a year away. This, if this could do it, I mean, that's definitely the PCB like power that can host it. So, man, I'm so excited. I think like, this is the newer version of RK One Up, but yeah, they didn't want to review it. But MVSX did it first with the yeah. USB. Okay, well, as soon as I see the USB on this, it got mm -hmm. potential. So easy atom pack. They intentionally add a six button because they knew that it's hackable. You said it. <laughs> You said it can run M uh, Street Fighter 3, right? Right? Uh, Street Fighter 3, MBS3. Street Fighter 3, Double Impact, Street Fighter 3, all oh, the Street Fighter, Marvel's Capcom, Marvel's Capcom 2. Uh, a lot of, oh right. my, load it in, load that in. Oh, I sent you the link, I'll, right? add, load that the, in. I'll add the other packs on, no worry. But it's exciting, I can get all this stuff. How do I exit out of game? Do I just press the options back button? Exit, yeah, oh, yeah, that's I'm simple. Ready. Yeah. Exit, oh, but okay. A for, oh, a for, a for, okay. 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 There you go. There oh, it is. Okay. There you go. It's so simple. Okay. You guys saw that yeah. I did that in 
minutes. All right, we're at three thirty, man. Oh, Thank wait, you wait, guys. Quick question. Quick question. Wait, wait, quick question. Did you put the the base on? Not yet. I need. Oh, I need you, Bobby. I need you. <laughs> Plug for what, Bobby. That, that, the I level is gonna be on the marquee. I'm letting you know that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly on the marquee. You'll be like this. Yeah, yeah, I don't have so it on a real bar top right now, but Bobby, if you don't know, Bobby has been making crazy amounts of custom stands for this. So hit up Bobby if you need a. I need one, but I know you pushed me to the top of the line, but I'll stop by soon. I got you. <laughs> See I Come pick it up. It's right here. Come pick it up. It's That's right there, right. ready to roll. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you guys. You. All right, thank you, you guys so you. much. My, That's you. right, man. Thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody. Bobby, All take right. us out, man. Clean like a mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To die for. Con R S. All right, cool, guys. See you guys next.